Today, I will show you how to set up and fully configure a TP-Link Archer C6 router, connecting to an Ethernet jack. Again connect the LAN cable to the laptop Ethernet port and the router LAN port. Connect the power cable to the router and press this button to power on the router. Let's go start. And go to the taskbar select and right click the network icon and choose the open network and internet settings. Ethernet and click on change adapter options. Double click on Ethernet. Properties double click on IP version 4. And must be select the obtain IP address automatically. After OK. Close the all. Open any browser and type http colon slash slash 192.168.0.1 into the address bar. Then, you can see the login pop-up window. The default username is admin and create the new password to type here and for your suitable password. Click Let's Get Started. Select your local time zone from the drop-down list and click Next. In this part, your current internet connection settings. You can also modify the settings according to the service information provided by your ISP. I'm using the static IP. And input the my one IP address here. Please give a like and comment down below if it worked. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. After completed then click on Next. Customize your wireless settings. If you 2.4G then click on Otherwise Off. 2.4 GHz bands in the router's wireless settings, network name password. Five GHz bands in the router's wireless settings, network name password. Click on Next. Auto Update allows router just for skip. Next. All settings is successfully. Finally, Next. Change the admin password. Open a web browser. Log into the web GUI of the router and go to Advanced. From the Navigation Operation mode, scroll down and click on the system. Under System menu, click on Administrator. Type your current password. Type your new admin login password and must be following the below three rule. Confirm new password. Click on Save. After saving, try to log into the router for a new password. Remote Management. Open a web browser, log into the web GUI of the router, and go to Advanced. Scroll down and click on the system. Click on the Administrator under System Options. Select Enable Authentication for Remote Management. Web Management for the router. Allow specific devices to manage the router.
Click on Save. Change LAN IP address range. Log into the web GUI of the router and go to Advanced. Click Network. Click on the LAN under Network Options. Change the IP address to what you want and save. Click Save and Login again. After Reconnect, check the IP address range. IP and MAC binding. Open a web browser, log into the web GUI of the router, and go to Advanced. Click Security. Click on the IP and MAC binding under Security Options. Select Enable the IP and MAC binding. Click to add the corresponding device to the binding list. Enter the MAC address and IP address that you want to bind. Enter a description for this binding entry. and click Save. Done! Respond to pings from WAN. Open a web browser, log into the web GUI of the router, and go to Advanced. Click on the Security. Click on the Firewall under Security Options. Just click Enable to respond pings from WAN. Change wireless name and password. Open a web browser. Type the IP default 192.168.0.1 address of the router. Log into web GUI of the router and go to wireless. Customize your wireless name and password settings. Change name now to G. and password. If you use 5G then change password. If you are first visiting my YouTube channel and Facebook page, please subscribe, like, follow and notify the belt icon click and see your next updated video.